Hello, I'm Atsubo George and I'm so blessed to be bringing God's word to you this new week. Praise God. Now, before we go into the broadcast, can we call for that daily bread? Now, it's a daily bread, so don't get tired of doing it. Praise God. Get, get, say it, declare it until you literally begin to see daily supplies to you. It is possible. Praise God. So, do you believe me? Let's go on and declare this word. Now, say with me. Say, Father, today I receive my daily bread. It's coming to me now. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Yeah, a miracle is coming your way today. I don't know what you're believing God for, but trust me. He said we should do this, and we have done it. And I let him prove his word in your life. Praise God. Let's pray. Father, we honor your name today. Thank you for this great opportunity to be ministered to by your spirit. We allow your spirit to guide us into all truth, just like you said, Lord Jesus. And I declare right now, every body is lifted. Every yoke is destroyed in Jesus mighty name amen praise god thank you lord jesus now we began talking about how to walk in 2022 and it's important you understand i'll be sharing with you on how to walk by faith now understand this there is no way you are going to succeed in your walk of faith if you're believing is not right. I will read a scripture to you in Luke chapter 11. Luke chapter 11 and verse 32. Luke 11, sorry, verse 34. It says, The lamp of the body is the eye. Now, note this the lamp or the light of the body is the eye. Therefore, when your eye is good, your body also is full of light. It says the lamp of the body is the eye. So if your eye is good, your whole body is full of light. But when your eye is bad, your body also is full of of darkness. Then look at what he said in the next verse. He says, Therefore, take heed that the light which is in you is not darkness. If then your whole body is full of light, having no part dark, the whole body will be full of light. And when the bright shining and as when the bright shining of a lamp gives you light. Do you see that? Now, there's something Jesus said there that I want us to look at. He says, therefore, verse 35, therefore take heed. Now, when, when he says take heed, it means it is in your power. This is your responsibility. If not, he would have told you, pray. But he said, take heed. In other words, be careful. In other words, Make sure, see to it, that's what it means to take it, see to it that the light which is in you is not darkness. Now, why is this so important? It's so important because this is your central processing point. This is your central processing unit like you have it in a computer. This is your system unit, whatever they call it now. This is where everything is processed. So Jesus said, he's not talking about the light that is coming into you. He's not talking about, he's talking about the light that dwells in you. So it means we all have that light that has been given to us from our inside. He says, take heed that that, which, that light which is in you is not darkness. Make sure it is not darkness. Do everything. No, you need to check. You need to ask yourself the kind of light I carry inside of me. What kind of light is it? 
Now, how do I know if the light is darkness? I'll tell you, you can know. If your interpretation, now have you found yourself in, in, in situations like this? You know, someone comes to you and tells you, hey, ah, I just got a wonderful news. He said, oh, okay. And then you find in your mind telling that, uh, you say wonderful news now, tomorrow is bad news. You say, oh, I just got a job. Wow. Hey, I hope they don't fire you. Hey, something just happened. Wow, everybody's excited. And then you find yourself thinking and, and just saying that. <laughs> this excitement, how long will it last? Do you know what's going on? The light inside you is darkness. Now, Jesus is saying that if that is the case, man, the darkness is great. Because it means you don't see any good thing happening even in your life. Even though good things happen, you realize that you are waiting for the bad news. You're waiting for, you know, you know someone is getting blessed. You know, someone just, and then every day you're wondering, when will this thing end? When will this party be over? I, I know, I know my life will. Oh, Good things don't normally last long. So you're just waiting to hear. And then when you say, I knew it. I knew it. I knew. I'm not surprised. It's like that in our family. How many people talk like that? What's going on? You, Elebrahi, the light in you is dark. So you've got to change it. Now, when Jesus said, take heed, it means you have the power to change the light that is in you. There are people who no one can just be excited around them. When you're too excited, they are looking at you and wondering, eh, you don't know anything. You don't know anything about life. Leave him. You know, you know many years ago, you know, we got born again and we're too excited about the gospel. You know, people will look at us and like, eh, young, youthful exuberance. And then, what are they waiting for? They're waiting for you to, one day you will now come and say, hmm. This Christianity, I don't understand again, no. But glory to God, I've been in this for many years and I've had no time to ask myself that question. I don't understand, I don't understand what every day has been a glorious day for me. I'm telling now, not because there are no challenges, but when those challenges come, see, listen, when the light in you is, is, is good, guess what? You will interpret challenges differently. You know that, right? You remember Joseph and his brothers. They sold him. You know, they wanted to kill him. Eventually, they sold him off to Egypt. Now, he got to Egypt many years after he became the prime minister. And then his brothers came to buy food. He recognized them. And you know all the drama that ensued. And then finally, he introduced himself to them and said, Hey, I am Joseph. I'm like, what? Yeah. And then they were scared. See, they were scared. Like, ah, we are finished. This guy's going to lock us up forever and then he said nah go get my father and they said ah they said hey guys relax let me explain something to you you meant what you did for evil but guess what god meant it for good now then he says hey god sent me here ahead of you to save your lives now Someone else in that situation is thinking, I see the people that sold me. Ay, ay, ay. I know what I'm going to do to this guy. I'm going to so deal with them that they will regret ever being born. Now, what's going on when you're thinking like that? There is darkness inside of you. There is darkness inside of you. You know, you can be thinking, hey, but, but don't you have, doesn't he have a justifiable reason? Hey, you may have all the good reason to do certain things. But it's not everything that you're permitted to do. It's not everything that light in you would permit you to do. It's amazing. Some people, even in Joseph's condition of being the prime minister, they will still be looking at how to execute punishment. and ju now, But Joseph looked at the whole thing and said, Hey, don't worry, guys. You may not understand what you were doing. But I, I've reasoned it out. Now, how did he reason it out? That's why I said, with the light that is inside of him. 
He said, I've reasoned it out and guess what I concluded? I believe God was using you guys. Now imagine, imagine telling someone who, who, who just realized that, oh, this guy wanted to kill his now ahead. He said, I believe God was using you guys because you had to sell me. You had to push me to come this way. And now can't you see? I'm here. If I wasn't here, you guys would have died. The family would have hit you guys, seriously. So he let go of the pain. Now, let me tell you, he, he suffered many years of pain. He suffered many years of rebuke, suffered accusation. Think about it. Suffered as a slave. Meanwhile, his father was a rich man, thinking he was a dead boy. Only those whose hearts are pure and the light in them is bright. Now, now look at what Jesus said. Verse 36. If then your whole body is full of light, have no part dark. The whole body will be full of light as when the bright shining of a lamp gives you light. You can't hide this kind of light. Praise God. You can't. Joseph couldn't hide the light that is in him. Because he didn't allow darkness to dwell inside of him. Now, this you, you think someone hurts you, someone offended you, someone did you so much evil. And then you think, ah, I'm gonna deal with it. I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. You don't realize that they are just creating. Now, what, what what's going on? You see, that thought in your mind is only trying to shade the light that is inside. You think you have a reason to be angry. But listen, the time you would use to stay in hurt, in anger, in rage, in, in hatred, you see, what's going on? Your lights, the original light God gave to you is being dampened. It's being dampened. So they are reducing your shine without you knowing. And soon, you've got lights, but that light is covered with darkness. And guess what? You find out that you don't believe God anymore. You don't believe God for good things anymore. Now, Joseph knew he had to let his light shine. Now, Jesus said, look, he, he, he said that. Let me read that again. He said, talking about that light. If then your whole body is full of light. Did you see that? And when he says your whole body, he is actually talking about the whole thought process of your mind. If it is full of light, have no part dark. Can you be this person? Think it. Think about it. Can I be this person? No part dark. No part. I refuse to have any kind of darkness inside of me. I want you to say that with me. Say, I refuse to have any part of me dark it's not about the other people it's about you let me tell you something life is not about what has happened to you life is not about what anyone has tried to do against you or do do to you no life is about what you interpret every action to be if you interpret it according to the right light Hey, guess what? He said, Yo, the whole body will be full of light as when the bright shining of a lamp gives you light. Shine so bright that it will be so easy to spot a dark spot in you and take it out immediately. You know when the light is so bright, if, if a fly just goes and perches there, it can't even stay there. But it's so easy for you to see. But when the light is not so bright, things begin to perch and you won't even notice until you won't see the light anymore. But Jesus is calling you. And this is your personal work. This is 2022. This is your personal work. Allow the light in you to shine. Don't allow anything to darken it. Don't allow any attitude of anyone. Don't allow the actions of anybody, the behaviors of anybody to put darkness on your light. No, 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 no. Rather, in 2022, you are going to shine so bright. Praise God. Our time is up. Listen, it's a good year. I know, I know it's a good year. Interpret everything this year 
from light. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I bless you today. And as you go about your daily activity, I speak favor like never before in your life. In Jesus' name, amen. I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye.